What's going on, people? Uh, this is Paul here again. I got a multimedia radio for y'all. It's from Kenwood. It's the DDX272. Uh, this radio prices around around $279.95 and has a one-year warranty. Uh, this radio uh, is able to handle MP MP3, WMA, AEC, DVD, W Digital, uh, Pandora Link for iPhone, um, and it's all of course you know 6.1 inch touchscreen and. Uh, Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, open the box up. Uh, sorry, I'm just spilling everything. And uh, see what's on the inside. Alright, for the DDX272. Uh, let's see, the first thing I pull out, it looks like a parking wire extension wire. Just like green wire that we hook up to the parking brake. Uh, here is the power wiring harness with all the speaker wires in different colors and whatnot. Uh, here's a trim ring, a little piece of styrofoam in just to keep it from you know squeezing in on itself and breaking during shipping. Uh, we have a three book instruction manual with a warranty card in the back. Uh, looks like some CD keys and some installation screws. Open up part here. Uh, that's nothing. But and pull this out. Alright, there's nothing else in the box. Alright, you got some, some styrofoam with uh, this attached to it. I'm just going to set this off over here. That's a nice little plastic baggie around the radio. And let's see, we also got this nice little face cover here to keep it from being scratched I guess you know for during shipping. Um that sucker's on there. But anyway, um, I'll get that here in just a second. Um and this is the mounting cage. A lot of times you don't really need this unless you do like a custom installation or or something like that and that's where the cage I have so far I haven't seen a car that requires a uh, the mounting cage but it's there just in case. And there we go. Whew, that was loud. All right, there is the radio. Uh, let's get it mounted up. We'll see what's going on back here, and then we'll flip it around, power it up, and we'll see what goes on the side here. All right, here is the back of the radio. As usual, I'm gonna start from from this side and work my way over to that side over there. Uh, the first thing I see uh, the EXT IF. Uh, port. Uh, this is for like Sirius XM modules. This is an optional module that you can get to give the radio Sirius XM capabilities for commercial free music. Uh, here is the plug-in for the power cord I showed you with the 10 amp fuse. Uh, over here we have uh, this little purple white wire. It says reverse on it and this what this does. You can hook up a optional uh, reverse camera that way, when it's hooked up and you put it in reverse, this wire energizes and interrupts whatever screen you're looking at to show you what you're backing into. Uh, this light green wire, this is the parking brake switch wire. So that way, when you're stopped, you can put your parking brake in and watch videos. Uh, right here, this is the iPod slash audio video input. Uh, that was a, that's a special cable that you can get from my, uh, Kenwood to uh, have full capabilities of your iPhone or iPod. Over here we got uh, video output, and uh, this is a, a output. So if you have like multiple screens, you can um, hook this up and send video that's playing on here out to other screens to play. Uh, this other yellow part right here, this is uh, RCAM, which stands for Reverse Camera. This is where you connect the video feed from your rear view camera that's mounted in the back. Over here we got front, no, no, rear, front, and subwoofer. Four volt preouts, so that way you have uh, two two channel amps, uh, mono block amp, four channel amp, mono block amp, five channel amp, or just a mono block amp, or you know whatever. It's lots of configurations for that. Uh, oh, I've got I missed one here. Uh, this is your one amp, five volt uh, USB charging uh, plug, so you can plug in your iPhone, thumb drives, stuff like that. And last but not least is your antenna input. Most new cars nowadays require um, an adapter in order to put new radios in. That way you can listen to FM and AM. 
That's pretty much it for the back of this radio. Let's flip it around and get her powered All right, up. get it powered up. Uh, first thing it comes to really is like a little demo mode of screen. And I'll have to turn it off here in a few minutes because it's going to mess with all the other stuff we'll start showing you. Anyway, before I start touching any buttons, it has a nice, that I took that trim ring out. It has a nice flat black trim ring. Uh, it has a piano finish or black, glossy black uh, outside with nice rubber looking and sort of feeling buttons around the um, volume knob here. Here, uh, The volume knob is, is like, like a chrome look with a piano finish black on the button itself. Uh, we also have what's like a sensor for an optional remote. Um, here's the Kenwood logo, which is also serves as the reset button. Uh, here's the eject button. When you press it, it'll check the button out. And of course, here's the CD DVD player. Uh, this is the menu AV audio uh, buttons here. And if I hold down the, the volume button, it's a tenu attenuator, which is also the mute. And if I hold down the AV, it actually turns on the rear camera. Uh, right now it's demonstration mode. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, language, English, um, AV input, uh, AVN or iPod. Uh, reverse camera input. Uh, if you if you have one installed, go ahead and turn it on. And here, uh, panel color. You can change whatever color you want. It looks like it's just uh, cycling through, and it looks like a light green here. So I'm going to press blue. Now it's blue. If I turn red, red. If I turn pink, turns pink. Or just let it cycle through um, on its own. So I'm back out here and click finish. And this takes us to the top menu, which shows you all your basic, most used features. You got iPod, disc, uh, tuner, all source, Sirius XCM, uh, USB, Pandora, and setup. And the first thing before I click on these buttons, I'm going to go click on these right here and see what happens. So the first button, I'll click on menu. Nothing happens. So if I hold it down, it's probably going to turn it off because it has the, the power button next to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, AV, pressing it. And it goes to standby. So nothing, nothing happened there. Um, if I hold it down, that's, that's actually what will turn on the review camera, but since I don't have it hooked up, um, so turn that back on. Audio or AUD, nothing's happening because I, th I think I'm just I'm not in a source. Um, the volume button, press it in, nothing's happening because I said I'm not in the source right quick. So I'm going to go ahead and go into tuner to give me a source that's right off the bat. Um, on tuner, let's see, well, uh, um, let's see, audio, this is where you can change all your audio settings you know, because I was, I was actually in a source and it gave me options to select this. I'm in drive EQ, natural, as you can see it's got a, a five band equalizer. Uh, rock, pop, easy, powerful, top 40, jazz, user. So user, you can actually go in and punch in the settings that you want just by clicking where at on, on the thing. Or if you want to tune it you know, more finely, you can press the button here and actually go to whatever settings you want. Uh, SDW is solo for level. Uh, it goes from, I see, from 0 to plus 10. Back down to 0 to. Wow. What's going on there? I don't think it's going to stop. Negative 50. So you have negative 50 to 0 to plus 10 on the subwoofer level. So you can really fine tune just how much bass you want coming out. I'm going to put it back on zero real quick. We'll take a second and that second up. Alrighty. So, but as for the 5 minute equalizer, it goes from 80 hertz all the way up to 12.5 kilohertz. And uh, that's pretty much it for the audio settings. I'll click it. It should take it back. Well, it shouldn't take it back nowhere. I guess I clicked the, the escape arrow. Took it back to, actually, it took it to the system menu. But I'll get to that in here in a few minutes. So, I'm back to this setup here. Uh, like I said, an iPod, if I had it hooked up, it would probably start playing music. If I had if I had an iPod, uh, it would start playing music and um, and show me information on the screen. So I'm going to go back to this button here, which didn't tell me that. That just closes the menu. iPod, disc. There's no disc in here. And tuner brings it back to the screen here. These are your presets, one through six. Uh, seek. 
uh, you press it. There's actually three different types of seek according to the front. Uh, there's there's um, auto seek which goes through the stations to find the next next, next one. Uh, there's a preset seek which is what I'm, I'm in right now. It's going through your presets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we hit seek again. It's going through each station manually, which is manual seek. You can see right there, I'm going in one at a time. I'm going to see one more time. It should find the local station, which is, uh, I, have a, I have an antenna plugged in, so it's catching that radio station. And uh, we got PTY, AM, FM, got FM2, FM3, back to FM1 again, AM, and there's only one AM. So back to FM1. And you know about the signal, there's the channel station buttons right there. Uh, AME is automatic music entry. You click it and it will preset all your stations for you. Mono, text, I think you can select whatever text you want. Um, let's see here. That's all pretty much for the radio. Go back to here. We go to all source. Actually, we've hit that. Um, Sirius XM, this is a button. If you have the tuner plugged in, I don't have one plugged into it. That's why I'm saying Sirius XM, you know, SXM check tuner is one to make sure the tuner is working. Of course, like I said, I don't have one, so it's not there. Um, USB, if I had a USB plugged into it, it'll start playing music right about, right about now. Uh, Pandora link for iPhones. Uh, it has the basic features for Pandora, which is fast forward, thumbs up, favorites, you know, stuff like that. Um, and set up, this is the main meat and potatoes for the radio because you can actually change different stuff. Uh, right now we're in the audio section, fader and balance. We all know what that is. You can go into here and click wherever you want the fader and balance to be or you can fine tune it using the arrows. Uh, if you get off in somewhere and you don't feel like you're clicking arrows, you just click center and it puts you right back in the center. Uh, back out, escape, and we got equalizer, we was just in there. Uh, a second ago, showing you all the five main equalizer settings. Loudness, off and on, it just makes the music just a little bit louder. Uh, if you are an audiophile and really want to tune in your front rear subwoofer and make it sound just right, you can go in there and mess with that. If you're not, then that's fine, it'll, it'll just play with your EQ settings. Volume offset starts off at zero. I don't know, actually goes down to, let's see where it goes to, negative 15, the zero is default. Kind of like an internal volume knob, but you usually don't have to mess with that if you don't need to. Or if you, if you don't want to, it's fine. It, it says it's going to still play loud anyway. So, both you can actually turn the subwoofer off or on using these buttons here. And that's in case you like come into a, a subdivision or somewhere where you don't want to daunt. Is that a word, daunt? <laughs> if you don't want to play bass in a subdivision or hospital or something, you can. You can turn it off and have just your music play, and then when you get, get out of there, you can hit this and you basically come back home. Bass boost, uh, we got level one, level two, level three, and off. And it gives you a little bit of harder hit to the bass. Speaker select, um, you know, the size of the speaker, you got know, wide, standard, uh, narrow, so if you have pretty much round speakers, you can just hit the standard. Um, and that's it for the audio section. Uh, the next one is display. We go into here. Uh, we have a dimmer, which is auto, or you can actually turn it on or off. As you can see, if it's like too bright at night, uh, you can turn it on. It kind of dims it down just just a hair. Um, if you're going to use your customize custer, is that another word? Customize. Uh, you can change the background on on the on the screens here, or you can motion capture one from a I think the USB port. And panel color, we was actually in this the first when we first turned the radio on. Alright, that's all for the user customized on-screen display. Do you want the clock to be on or off? Usually usually people like to have the clock on there, so you can just leave that on. Demonstration, uh, that's the first thing we do, we turn it off or on. If you leave it on, it'll actually screw you with your settings every 15, 30 seconds. So just leave it off unless you just like to see random pictures and and screwed up settings. Uh, scroll, you get on, once or off. If the song title is too long for the screen, it'll scroll, you know, so you see everything, or do it once, or just not do it at all. Menu customize, you go into here, 
and I believe let's say you didn't, didn't use a discus bunch you can change it to oh let's say all the audio video input if you use the iPod less you can go to apps mode you know, you know stuff like that you, you can actually change different doodads on the menu the, whichever ones you use the most you can change them on the screen which is pretty cool uh, screen adjust uh, we got dim off dim on it was like before but it actually gives you actually two buttons and it's, it's not much but it, it may help out a lot uh, you also got brightness or bright and black which actually really gives you better control on the bright and blackness and, and, and dimming so you can actually you know dial in the exact dimming that you want uh, video output NTSC or PAL PAL is like you know, Europe and UK and places NTSC is um, in the USA regions uh, that, I think that's all for display here yeah. uh, input uh, we got AVN or iPod, so whichever one you have set up, you can, you know, it's, uh, use it that way, which actually was in the first uh, mean, uh, setup screen. Uh, or cam in, uh, interrupt, if you have a camera, you can get it to interrupt your screen, or you just turn it off and, and have to turn it on manually. System, uh, we got language, you got the clock. Uh, you actually can go into here and actually select which uh, clock you want, or if you want to sync with the radio data system you can do that too um, beeping uh, the buttons will beep when you click on it when it will come out your speakers remote sensor you turn it off or on set up memory uh, would you like to memorize and recall the audio video setup uh, you, that's where you actually save your settings in there in case of you know battery failure or something like that AV key long press gives you three options to program three options one of three options to the AV button here right now it's 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 set for our camera but if you want to set the apps and uh, and you press I'll connect to the screen here in a second so if you set it to apps you press and hold it uh, let's let me get out of here uh, uh, probably I don't have the apps turned on that's why my white stop there so system um, yeah if I didn't have the iPhone hooked up to it um, so it's not gonna show app mode for me so you just leave it on our cam for now unless you have the can the, the um, cable hooked up for your iPhone for audio video then you can have full functionality over that uh, here's the seal number, touch panel adjust, this actually, it actually tells you where to touch on the screen to adjust, you know, for people's fingers, everybody's finger is different, they're, they're molded different, different lengths, different, you know, widths and stuff, so you can actually adjust it to your, your finger. Uh, system information, this is where you can go, and if you have updates for firmware, you can go to the KenwoodUSA.com website and see if they have an updated firmware version for your radio, and it may fix little bugs or things if you notice, you know, as you use it. Uh, after system information, we got, well, that, that's it. That's all for system. Actually, that's all for the settings. Uh, if you go to all source, it's pretty much all the buttons on one screen. And, uh, you know, I so said we got, got this, tuner, radio, Series XM, which requires optional module, iPod, uh, USB for like thumb drives, Pandora link for iPhones, app mode if you have apps and stuff and uh, AVN or standby standby is like pretty much like a like a standby mode not really off but not doing nothing no sound or anything so anyway uh, that's pretty much it for this radio it's really nice uh, for 279 usually all your basic features and for a cheap price with a, a brand name uh, if, you know of Kimwood Oh, that was the Kenwood uh, DDX 272. Uh, I said the radio is about 279.95. Has a one-year warranty. Uh, it's got all your little basic features: DVD, CD, um, WMA, M uh, MP3, AAC files, um, touchscreen, Pandora, you know, for iPhone and stuff. Anyway, uh, 
pretty nice little radio. Um, you hit the like button down here, thumbs up, maybe you leave a comment or question or anything. And um, anyway, this is Paul. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have an awesome day. And please subscribe.